<laughs> oh, welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. We are back with Spyro the Reignited Trilogy, Spyro number two, Ripto's Rage on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And right now we are in the level Hurricos, and we have got 146 out of 400 gems and one out of three orbs. Now, if you want to see where the orb was or any of the other gems, then just watch the last video. But yeah, we're going to be carrying on with this level today. So what we're doing at the moment is we need to kill enough enemies so we can activate this portal. Now, once we've activated this portal, we will be able to break open this chest over here and get some gems, but we will also be able to smash all of these giant windmills right here and then get to these buttons. Because once you deactivate all of these buttons, all of these propellers are going to slow down and then we're going to be able to get up on that ledge right there. And that's going to lead us across here, which will in return lead us over there towards the exit. So that's what we're going to be doing at the moment. But first things first, I need to go and kill a bunch of enemies. I think I've got enough of those little... Yeah, I do. Okay. I was worrying if I actually had any. Yeah, we need two. <laughs> oh dear. Now uh, there is two more orbs to get. We've got one orb, pretty much, I'll show you where we got the other orb, just in case you haven't seen the last video. But you pretty much jump up there, and then you go through that little hole over there, and it will lead you to a quick little mission that you need to do. And that's where you get the first orb. But we're going to get another orb from the end of the level, I think. No, actually we won't. Because what happens, sort of, in, in the first part of this game, you will get talismans from uh, each of the enemy, each of the uh, levels that you finish. And then after a while, once you've got all 14 of the talismans that let you uh, fight the last boss, you will start getting orbs from the last the last person in the level instead, you know. So instead of getting a talisman as a reward, you will get a, um, a orb, you know. So I'm not sure uh, where the other two orbs are. I can't actually remember how I get them. Yeah, because we're going to be going across there. Because when you do all this platform and stuff in a minute, it's a bit of a pain in the butt because... Uh, there's there's only one checkpoint, and the checkpoint is right before the annoying bit. So if you fall off on the annoying bit, you've got to do it all again. So it's a bit of a pain in the butt. This, uh, the trophy for this level is to pretty much defeat all of the robots in this level. So any of these little random robots that are running around, you've just got to defeat them, you know. So uh, make sure you do. I know it's easy to miss, miss enemies in, this, uh, in Spyro 2, because in Spyro, 2, uh, in Spyro 1 and Spyro 3, enemies drop gems, you know, so if you're planning on getting 100% in a level, you're going to have to kill every enemy. In this one, you don't get any gems from defeating enemies, you know, so it's very tempting to just sort of completely ignore the enemies and just run past them, you know, so make sure you don't do that, make sure you actually kill all of the robots, because then you'll get yourself a cheeky trophy, you know, and even, even if you're not a trophy hunter, it's always nice to get a trophy in it. <laughs> right, how many we got? 21, okay, we've got more than enough now. So yeah, I think, yeah, we need to break open that. That's the uh, that's the windmill we need to break open so we can start actually climbing along all of these uh, propellers. But we're gonna need to keep running in it and breaking all these windmills. It's gonna be a bit of a pain in the butt to do because there is, um, you've got this bloody doorway in the way and uh, you know what I'm like with doorways. If you watch Spyro 1, I regularly used to run full speed into like the door frame instead of going through the door. <laughs> Uh, I love it when you charge into these chests and then all of the gems just stay in a little ball and you pick, you pick them all up. It's lovely, isn't it? Sorry if my commentary is a little bit uh, weird and I'm stuttering at the moment. I've, um, I'm, uh, I'm actually knackered at the moment. I didn't sleep very well last night. I mean, I'm recording this on the 17th of December. You know, you're probably watching this in January. The amount of videos I've made is insane. I've had like, because I've already mentioned it, that I've been working on... Um, getting 30 videos completed and I've only had like seven days to do it, you know, so I've been recording like an absolute fucking madman, you know, so it's really been taken out of me. <laughs> it has really took me out of me, it took it out of me, you know, it's, it is exhausting, you know. So hopefully these videos are still decent, you know, but if, yeah, if, if they do, if they do sound a bit crap, I do apologise, you know, because uh, it's probably better to make less videos and make better quality videos than to like, you know, overdo it and then end up really tired of making crap videos but yeah if you feel like my videos have took a turn for the worse let me know and uh, i'll make sure i don't do this ever again because normally like i said normally i've got a lot more time to prepare for holidays and stuff you know but the problem ah oh, god damn it i need to is there any uh huh. i think the best way of doing this bit is to run down here and then come around here like this you know it's the long way of doing it but it gives you time to actually line up your charge so i think it's better doing that 
But yeah, normally I have, uh, when like holidays are coming up, I've got plenty of time to stockpile a lot of videos. But because of the one hour Red Dead Redemption 2 videos I was doing, that pretty much took away a whole day of recording where I would normally make three videos, I was only able to make one. So that sort of really put me behind. And because Red Dead Redemption 2 is so long, you ain't really got a choice. If you don't do at least one hour videos, you're never gonna get through the game, you know? <laughs> it's, a, it's a brilliant game, very long, but damn, it's a pain to do on YouTube. <laughs> Spiral, do you see that big building over there? The gear grinders are using it to steal our electricity. Please help us by shutting down the machinery inside. Okay. Yeah, because uh, that's what we're doing at the moment. We're trying to shut down the machine, which pretty much you just you just go through the level and then you'll just instantly do it, you know? It's, it's not, the, the challenges are very... Oh, hang on. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> I knew I was going to forget something. Okay, it looks like the last few are up there. Because I think you get to the end of the level and then you get your talisman. And then I think there is something after that where there's like a little room. And I think you might be able to get two orbs in there from like the same sort of challenge maybe. I can't remember. It's been a while since I did Spyro 2 now. I've mostly been playing Spyro 3 lately. I mean, if you, you're, I recorded this on the 17th. Well, yesterday on the 16th of December, I finally platinumed Spyro 3. So I've now officially platinumed all three games, but yeah, it's, um, it's, it means I've forgotten quite a lot of stuff. Can we go around here? No, I think this is the way you go if you want to get back over here once you've finished the level. Right, now it's time for some platforming. Ah, God, that was stupid. Ah, oh. <laughs> this bit isn't the bad. Oh, hang on. Oh, here we go. This dude's going to have an orb for me. Spyro, you have done well so far. You can have this little trinket for good luck. If you have any questions about shutting down the factory, just ask me. Oh, oh thank you, Tinky Winky. Oh, nice. He didn't even need to give me that. You know, I'm pretty much just doing what the main it's mission is. Get tricky. You'll have to use your hub. Oh, yeah, I already know. Yeah, you don't have to give me a tutorial, mate. I know what I'm doing. But he didn't even have to give me that orb, you know, because I'm pretty much doing what the mission is for me to do, you know, because I need to travel across these propellers so we can get to the place where we uh, deactivate all of this crap that the Rhinox have been doing. Not the Rhinox, what are they? What are the bad guys in this one? Just bad guys, I guess. In uh, Spyro uh, 3, they're Rhinox, I think. But yeah, he didn't have to reward me at all when he did. So uh, that, that is a top guy over there. Didn't know Tinky Winky was so generous. Ah... <laughs> uh. This is a bit where it's a pain in the butt if you fall down because you've got to do the whole thing again. Alright. Okay, it's also the main reason why you want to make sure you don't miss any gems on the ground floor so you don't have to jump down again. Right, I want to make sure I jump over there without screwing up now because I messed up when I did this on my own. <laughs> right, so we've got 65 more gems to find and one orb and I think there's going to be something up there that will have an orb in it for us. That's what you have to pay attention for when you play this. Sometimes you've got random little missions, you know, and stuff that's going to give you uh, rewards of orbs. And then other times you've got random orbs that are just hidden throughout the level. Do I need to... Oh no, he's going to give me an orb as well. Spyro, help! The switch to turn off the gear grinder factory is in that room, but, um, it's awfully noisy in there. So you're not going in there because it's noisy. What's your problem, mate? What's your beef? <laughs> what an idiot. Is there any gems in here? Oh, no. I've missed gems somewhere. Thanks for shutting down the factory. Here, I found this stuck between the gears. You can have it if you want. Oh. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, so, all orbs collected. I thought there was a uh, talisman in this level. Unless I need to go and speak to him. I need to defeat that robot over there. I think some of the robots, because when, when I came back onto the game, it, um, where are these orbs? Oh, hang on a minute. Down there. Okay, I'm probably going to have to come round here then. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to go down here anyway because I need to defeat that. Uh, yeah. I guess, I, I think the Tinky Winky dude near the entrance is the one that's going to give me a... Uh... Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Don't know how the hell I missed these. Just being stupid. Ah, 
Oh, this, oh, this is the guy. Here he is. This is the guy that gives you the talisman. Okay. All right then. That makes sense. I thought that I thought the main objective of this area was to go up there and to deactivate that portal. So I thought that's where the exit was going to be. Oh well, I got a bit confused. I don't, this level is a bit of a mind fuck, to be honest. <laughs> Everything looks the same in it. Thank you, Spyro. You've deactivated all of the electric barriers. We've been guarding this talisman from the gear grinders. Please take it as a reward. Oh, nice. Thank you, mate. I was looking for some of them in Spyro 1. I could have used it in Spyro 1. I'm just going to run back to the uh, beginning quickly and uh, defeat that robot because I think we are practically on. If you do fall down, you've got that little vortex right there that helps you back up. But uh, I think we've only need to destroy one more robot to get the uh, trophy. But yeah, that's all you've got to do in this level to get the trophy. Just destroy all the robots. I'm not sure how this one slipped past. I think because, uh, like I was saying, I don't know if I finished saying what I was saying. When I came back onto the game, because obviously I saved it mid-level last time. Um, it put me back to the beginning of the level and I had to do everything again. Obviously, I didn't have to collect all the gems again. But I had to like go through the level again and open all the barriers and stuff. So that was a bit of a pain in the butt. Right, that's this level done. We can head back home now and do another level. But yeah, there's 14 talismans to get. Have we also have we bought the ability to swim? <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Ah. Isn't they? They're, they're, they're flipping Tinky Winky, isn't they? The Tinky Winky were like some random vampire teeth. <laughs> ah. When did this come out? Yeah, this come out in like, well, number two. Probably come out in around about 1997? Yeah, 1997 maybe? Around about that time? 96, 97, 98? Around that time? So yeah, Teletubbies would have been pretty damn popular around that, around that time. I wonder if uh, that's where they got the idea for it. <laughs> Because people get inspiration from some of the weirdest places. Oh, oh, we've all, oh, we're here. Okay, so we have learnt the ability to swim. Did I pick up that talisman back outside then? Yeah, I already grabbed that talisman, didn't I? Let me have a check quickly. Because, uh, like I said, it's been about it's been about a week since I uh, last recorded Spyro 2 because I've been doing uh, loads of recording for Spyro 3. Yeah, I did get it. I was I wanted to see if I got the orb up there because I know you have to swim underwater to get to it. I'm going to show you where the location is of another gem, actually. It's uh, not a gem, a uh, orb. It's actually uh, very well hidden. Very, very well hidden. Very sneaky, you know. Right, so we've done Hurricos, or whatever you want to call it. There's also a gem, uh, an orb up there. I think I mentioned it in the last video, but you can't go up there until you get the ability to climb. And we won't get the ability to climb for quite a while yet. I think you might get it in world number two, near the end of it. But yeah, we're going to go into Sunny Beach in a second. But what you want to do, you want to smack this button, I think. Yeah, you want to smack this button. No, no, you don't want to smack that button. I'm not going to talk to Moneybags yet, because Moneybags can go fuck himself. The greedy shit. Always nicking all my bloody gems. Oh. Right, so we're going to come out here. This actually leads to the flying level of Spyro 2. Because Spyro 2 also has flying levels. But I think, I think the first flying level is probably the hardest one. Literally the hardest one. Right, so as you can see, there is a door here. Now, once we press the button to open that door, see, you, you, you see that all? See it peeking out like that? So you want to smack this button like that. Let's just grab these gems. Hopefully, Alora don't speak to me. But what you want to do is you want to come up here and you want to... Ah, God damn it, I knew this was going to happen. But you want to jump round to that window whilst the other door is closed and then you will be able to get the, the orb. I'm not going to bother doing it just yet because I want to do this level first and we're going to be going up there in a minute anyway. So I'll grab it in the next video or at the end of this video if I get a chance. But yeah, I'm going to be doing Sunny Beach now. I'll try and remember all of the different uh, trophies and stuff that, uh, that we need to do. But like I said, it's been uh, about a week since I've played this so I might forget a few of them. So I apologise if I do, you know. I just like to mention it when I'm doing this playthrough, because if you guys and girls are watching, I explain what to do. You know, you can quickly go and do it yourself. But the, the platinums for these free Spyro games are very easy, though. You ain't got to worry. Very easy. <laughs> they 
they look like, um, should I tell you what they look like? They look like, um, ah, oh, what is it? You, you know in Pokemon, you know you've got that evolution of Licky Tongue. I don't know what it's called, I think it's like Licky Licky or something. I know it's the evolution of Licky Tongue. And then it's sort of pretty much the same as Licky Tongue, but it has like a dodgy hairstyle. They look like a blue version of that. <laughs> right, now uh, this is one of the levels that we're not going to be able to completely finish. There, uh, We could do the majority of it, but we need to uh, have the ability to climb so that we can get, I think, two orbs as well as a bunch of gems. So we can do most of this level, but we're not going to be able to 100% it just yet. Like I mentioned at the start of this game, there is quite a bit of back and forth in this game. Not as much as Spyro 3. It's even worse than Spyro 3. <laughs> But let's uh, have a chat with this guy. Look at him. How the hell did he take his shell off? Hi, Spyro. It's a good thing you're here. If you can help shepherd those baby turtles over there to safety, I'd be mighty grateful. Okay. So pretty much we're just trying to get these uh, these baby turtles to the uh, the exit point, pretty much. But you, you don't really have to do anything. You just you just go through the level, you know, and then they randomly seem to teleport. <laughs> but yeah, every time you see these turtles, you need to smack her. Uh, you just smack them onto these buttons and they'll stay there. Oh no, they do actually move. Oh, okay, I didn't even know they moved. I thought they just randomly teleported. These uh, chests right here are going to be what we need to do in a mission later. Because there's going to be a mission where he wants us to rescue some baby turtles that I think have been, like, stored in these chests. So, um, remember the location of this one because it's the one you'll probably not be able to find that you might forget about. What the hell is this? Okay, then. <laughs> some sort of uh, dancing, some sort of dancing starfish. Oh, sorry, mate. I should be killing it, really. I don't even. Oh God! Flipping hell! Right. <laughs> they're, they're flipping, attacking each other. I think these dudes take two hits to kill these like duck people. I like how they attack each other. Yeah, they take two hits to kill. It's quite rare for an enemy to take two hits in this game. Is there anything down here? No. Okay. There's another chest here. There's another chest up there. I think there's six chests that we need to find, if I remember correctly. And you're going to be able to break open this chest once you get the fire power up. So we also need to make sure you kill enough enemies so that you can use your fire breath to break open these chests and also smash open that chest there. I don't think there's a rocket in this level. I know we're not going to be able to go up there. You see that little glowing... I don't think you can really see it from here. But you see like that green gem up there and that purple one up there? We're not going to be able to go to them until we have the ability to climb. And we're also not... Actually, I don't even think we can do the trophy in this level just yet. Because there's a trophy where I, uh, I think a man's trying to put turtles in a soup. And you pretty much have to stop the turtles going into the soup. I think there's a trophy for not allowing any turtles at all to make it into the soup, you know. Very easy, you know. There, there's only one trophy in this entire trilogy that will be a little bit annoying, and that's actually in Spyro 2. And you, you can easily do it later, because once you, once you finish this game, if you collect everything in the game, you have the uh, opportunity to get a permanent Super Flame upgrade. And there's a boss that you face where you need to get ammunition to hurt him. But once you've got the fire breath upgrade, you can just hit him anyway. So during that fight, you have to not be hit. That's pretty much what, uh, no. During the boss fights in this game, what you have to do is you have to not kill any fodder, which is like the, the animals that appear that you can kill to get butterflies, you know? So if sheeps appear or rabbits appear or any animal like that appears, you can't kill them because that's what the trophy is, you know? So you pretty much can't heal yourself. Well, one of the, the second boss in this game is a right pain in the butt just because Harry works and uh, if you take damage at all in that boss fight, the uh, I think Hunter gives you stuff, and Hunter will stop giving you um, ammunition, and he'll keep dropping sheeps instead, you know? So it's a bit of a pain in the butt. You don't want to take any damage in that fight, and that's what makes it difficult. But if you come back later with the fire upgrade, you ain't got to wait for any ammunition drops, and you can just, like, shoot the boss a few times and kill him in, like, seconds, you know? It's very easy. The workers have captured most of our baby turtles, and the boxes they put them in are incredibly strong. With a more powerful flame attack, maybe you could break open the boxes and release them. Okay. How many uh, orbs we got? Eight. Okay. 
So we, it looks like we're going to have to go up there first. It's probably better to go up there. It's probably better to just clean out the whole level before you pick up the power up, you know, just to stop anybody from interrupting you when you're like running around because obviously there's a limited duration for how long you can use the fire breath. So there's a bunch of enemies around getting in your way. It might uh, cause you to run out of time, you know, because especially that really far up the back one. Now, as you can see, we won't be able to get these. You can try and jump all you want, but it won't work. Trust me, I tried. <laughs> But yeah, we have to come back here later once we've got the uh, upgrade. I probably will do it. I plan on getting 100% in this game as well. Play, uh, we, we've got 120% in Spyro 1. We've got, uh, we're going to get 100% in this game. And I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do it in Spyro 3. Because Spyro 3 isn't actually necessary. Like, there ain't no trophies for it. So I might not bother doing it, you know. But we will see. Right, let's get this dude out of the way. Come on, up there. That's the end of the level up there where those turtles are. It's a very short level. What are you doing? Come on, walk. Walk, look, walk. Walk. Come on. Come on. Come on. Those turtles are adorable, aren't they? They sort of look like, um, ah, oh, you know that, you know that, ah, oh, I think it was made by, I can't remember who made it. I think it might be made by the same person that made the Muppets and maybe someone else. Maybe Disney was involved. I can't remember. But uh, it was pretty much called Dinosaurs. I think it was just called Dinosaurs, it was like an animated thing, or it might have been people in suits, I'm not too sure, but it, it was brilliant, and there's a little dinosaur in it that always says, not the mama, you know, every time the dad tries to do anything with the uh, boy, he always says, not the mama, and then attacks him with like his rattle and stuff, it, it was brilliant, you know, if you ain't seen it, I think it's American, an American thing, because you don't really get it very much in England, I tried buying the DVD for my, uh, for my dad once, and it was always like an American DVD, so it didn't actually work on our DVD player. Because you, you can get DVD players that will play all region DVDs, but for some reason our one don't do that because it's a piece of shit, apparently. <laughs> what does this dude want? Is he going to speak to me? Hello, young one. There's a chef up at the top of this ladder who wants to make soup out of our turtles. Maybe you could climb up there and stop it? Well, I mean, I suppose I could climb up there and stop him, but the problem is, mate, uh, I don't actually know how to climb until I spend a load of gems on money bags. Like, how the hell can you not know how to climb? I mean, the fact that Spyro can't fly all the time already annoys the hell out of me. It, re it really aggravates me. <laughs> it's just so stupid, you know? Because clearly his wings can take the weight of his body. That's why he's able to glide so much in these, uh, in these games, you know? Like when we do the flying levels and stuff. Right, I'm going to quickly get this done over here. And then uh, I'm going to have to leave the level because we're not going to be able to do anything else. There we go. Oh, there's seven chests. Okay. So we've got one there, one there, so that's two, then we've got three, make sure we break this open, there we go, four, All right, I'm going to go and get it refilled now, and then we're going to come back up here and we're going to get that chest up there, break this chest open, and then if we've got enough time we'll run down there and get the other one. And then we'll do the last one after. And then we'll have to exit the level and come back here later. There's a couple of levels we're going to have to come back to. Like Glimmer, the first world you go to. You can't do anything in there until you've got the ability to climb. A lot of back and forth. It's, uh, it's easy to keep track of what you need to go back to. Because you will, um, you've will you got your guidebook that tells you, you know. There we go. Right, it's going to come down here. I'll grab those gems in a second. Come on, go down. What are you doing, Spyro? Oh, okay, so you... Oh, all right then, whatever, Spyro, whatever. What an absolute twat. <laughs> One thing I do like in Spyro 3 is uh, you get you get the uh, opportunity to pretty much upgrade Sparks, you know. I'm not going to spoil it too much because we're going to be doing the, we're going to be doing the playthrough once I finish with Spyro 2. But you get the opportunity to upgrade Sparks. And one of the upgrades is pretty much... It increases the range of Sparks' gem pickup, you know. So no matter how far away the gems are, Sparks will pick them up. Like she would be able to pick up the gems probably up up on that uh, on that that bit where you have to climb. Why don't you go down, Spyro? What's your problem? There we go. <laughs> crap, crap, crap. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. There we go. There we go. All right. Now we just got to do the last one. It's, it's the problem with the uh, with the fodder in this game. I don't know why they call it fodder. It's, I think it's supposed to be like cannon fodder. 
but you don't want to kill the shit, you don't want to kill the fodder in this game because obviously you want to save them for if you get low on health. But at the same time, you always want to kill them just in case they've got a blue butterfly. <laughs> so it's always, uh, always tempting to just murder them all, you know. Right, now we're going to go to the last chest. And then once we've done that, we're going to have to exit the level and come back here later. Oh, oh, God. Quick, quick, quick. There we go. Most impressive. Please take this sacred thingamajig as a token of our everlasting gratitude. Well, thank you, my good sir. You have got the fluffiest, fluffiest eyebrows in the world. Look how fluffy your eyebrows are. <laughs> Damn. Could you imagine what that would feel like? That would be really irritating. Looks like my granddad, actually, a little bit. My granddad seemed to have got white hair out of nowhere. Like my granddad had pretty like proper hair, you know. Like he didn't, he, his, height, his hair didn't go white very quick, you know. All the way up until he was like, I don't know, seventy-two-ish, I'd say. And then, like literally, he had no beard. He had black hair. And then overnight, out of nowhere, he grew a beard somehow because it felt like it was overnight. It went pure white, and so did his hair. He practically turned into Santa Claus overnight. I'm not quite sure what happened, but yeah. <laughs> My great great nan, who lived to I think 92, she's not alive anymore, but uh, she, her hair never went white. She had brown hair, never dyed it in her life. She had brown hair until the day she died. So maybe that's a hint for uh, all of us to not dye our hair ever again. I mean, I've never dyed my hair, but to the ladies out there that dye their hair, maybe it's a bad thing. Maybe it makes your hair go white. Who knows? <laughs> who knows? They probably have never studied that stuff, have they? Now, a couple of gems here. All right, let's just make sure that. Yeah, so we're going to climb up there, and that's where two of the orbs are going to be. And then there's going to be a random body of water up there, and there's going to be like four chests in there, I think. And then you've also got to get the gems back at the beginning of the level where that climbing bit is. But yeah, we're going to have to do that later. Thank you, young dragon. The baby turtles will be safe up here. Please take this talisman as a token of our gratitude. Oh, nice. I flippin' love the talismans in this game. I like how they always like suit the theme of the level, you know. Oh, it's nice, nice things like that. I'm gonna have to end the video, I think, because I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to do the next level, so we're probably gonna have to end it now anyway. <laughs> Damn, you just done a belly flop. Have you ever done that in the pool before, where you jump in the pool and then you uh, you don't dive, you just end up belly flopping? I've done that several times. I think I've mentioned it before, I'm not good at swimming. I am horrible at swimming. I can swim, you know, so I wouldn't drown, but I'm just not very good at it, you know? So, like, I always panic in the deep end for some reason. If I, if I can't fit, if the floor isn't in range of my feet, I'll panic for some reason. I could swim, but I just panic, so that makes me swim, like, a bit weird. It's always like a panicky sort of swim, but, uh... Whenever I try and dive, because I just can't dive, because I panic whilst I'm in the air, I end up belly flopping. And the pain is um, it's insane. It's like a proper hard slap on your belly. Right, let's come up here. So we're going to be starting off the next video by doing a flying level by the looks of it. So yeah, that's uh, not going to be the best. But I'll just quickly grab this orb while I'm here, because I've not got enough time to start the flying level. But the flying levels in this game are a lot easier than Spyro 1, except the first one. The first one's a, it's a bit a bit challenging, but everything after that, fucking hell, mate. This is like the hardest content in the game right here, trying to get this all. But yeah, the rest of the flying, flying levels are very, very easy. And I'm not just saying that showing off, I'm, I'm being serious. They are very easy. I mean, you might have some trouble, but they're not too bad. There we go. Lovely. Brilliant. I think there's like 64, I think, orbs in this game. Maybe more. But yeah, let's uh, leave it here. So yeah. Thanks for watching, Wolf and Wolfettes. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Sorry if my commentary was a little bit naff in this video. I, uh, Like I said, I'm I'm exhausted at the moment. I, uh, I'll have a cup of tea when, I'm, when I've uh, finished saying my outro. And then hopefully the next video will be a bit better. Which I'm recording the same day. This is on the 17th of December. And I'm recording four more videos now. So yeah, I've got to, got to wake myself up a little bit. <laughs> Maybe have some Pepsi or something. I don't know. Something with sugar in it. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video anyway. Like, share and join the pack today. Oh.